as Manny Mac comes into the ring with the chair. I'm not even sure that's legal. I don't really know what's legal anymore with legal lottery, but Manny Mac, oh my goodness, did you hear that? You hear that across the arena, slap to the face. Kind of sounded like when his iPhone hit the wall earlier. Oh my goodness, I think Manny Mac, he set up the chair, but it might be going in his disadvantage now as Flying Ryan using that to his advantage as he's going for the pinfall. Got a beautiful sit-down powerbomb right onto the chair, right onto the sole of the back of Manny Mac. Manny Mac able to kick out somehow. I think I see a dent in that chair. That didn't look too good for Manny Mac. Going for a big snapmare. Drop kick Double to drop the kick back, of the, back of the head. Manny Mac is down Manny Mac and set groggy. Up though. Flying Ryan might be going for that 619 that he does. That's right. <coughs> Falling right into the 619. Flying Ryan hits it like nobody else. Yeah. Could be it. 619. Took his eyes off Danny Diesel. Danny hit him with the Diesel. Black with hole slam. That was huge. I haven't seen that move that big in a <laughs> long time. Since he just did it to Manny Mac about two seconds ago. Flying Ryan went flying above and around. I, I, I honestly didn't see Manny Mac fly around like that, that's for sure. As he's now going for the pin. Illegal pin at that. You saw the feet on the rope. Ridiculous. Disgusting. Look at this. Manny Mac. Now he's trying to steal. Manny Mac trying to steal the pin. Like he did earlier against Kronk. Realizing now he has no allies. Look where he is now. Manny Mac to the top of the ropes with uh, Going for a Ryan. back suplex. This could be huge. Lifting him all the way up. Beautiful. Oh, turned it into a cross body. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. We got a pinfall. One, two. Diesel is smartly there to break it up. All right, Diesel, come on. Take advantage of this situation. Here we go. Flying Ryan not happy, but Danny Diesel doesn't care. Manny Mac is down. Diesel's got Ryan in the corner right where he wants him, breaking him down. Vicious chops to the bear Remember, chest. the North American belt is on the line tonight, folks. Diesel Irish will be Manny Mac into the rope. Cyclone maneuver. Turn around, Manny. Oh, my goodness. Flying Ryan jumping off the back of Manny Mac, hitting him with like a, a tiger type drop kick, flipping drop kick, taking down Danny Diesel. Amazing awareness where Flying Ryan is. Oh, my goodness. The elevation, the height, the, the drop down onto Danny Diesel and getting the cover, but only getting a two count. He says it's over. Going for a power bomb. This could be the end. Oh, Hurricane Rana. Flying Ryan reversing it. That could be it. We got a cover. Flying Ryan looked like he's a little upset, but that didn't work as he planned it. Manny Mac back to his feet. Flying Ryan with some punches to Manny Mac. Danny Diesel looks like he's sizing up both of them. Oh. Flying Ryan ducks, and Danny Diesel takes out Manny Mac with a huge clothesline. Taking his head off. Manny Mac is not moving. Manny Mac's gone, as it looks like Diesel is setting up for that his finisher. That could be it. And oh, No, Ryan reverses it. Drop kicking him into the ropes. It's because they set up for the 619. It doesn't look like anybody's in his way to stop him. And 619. Fine. Huge. Nailing Danny Diesel. That could be it if he could just roll over and get the cover. But Diesel smartly rolling out of the ring. Looks like he's going to go for the pin on Manny Mac. Flying Ryan going to bring him over now. Could this be the end? Because he's setting up for that shooting star press that we'd love to see from Flying Ryan. He's ascending the ropes. Where is Danny Diesel? Come on. Your North American champion is climbing the ropes. This could be it. Oh, my God. And nailing him right down to the mat. One, Diesel, get two, in there. three. And oh ladies and God. gentlemen, still retaining the title, Flying Ryan. I don't think Diesel is happy with the fact that this was a, ended up into a three-way, which caused him the matchup by Manny Mac getting the pin. Flying Ryan still retains the title, folks, here at Lethal Lottery 2009. Diesel can't believe it. I'm with you, Diesel. I can't believe it either. Fans excited. Look at this. We have fans coming by ringside just to touch the hands of Flying Ryan. Excited as ever to have him here, folks. Flying Ryan is a great XWB superstar, and we're proud to have him as our North American champion. And your winner, folks, Flying Ryan. Diesel is not happy about it. Like I said, I'm not even kidding. I would definitely protest. Manny Mac coming in here. Manny Mac, no. 
No disrespect to you. Yeah, there you go. Take it out on the ref, Danny. Well, there you go, folks. That was a great singles match. which turned to a three-way, but the North America Bell is defended nonetheless. And we're going into our main event, folks, here. Crowning our first ever Legal Lottery 2009 champions. Here comes the first team to wrestle in this matchup in our main event, folks. The Chaos Connection. RM1, there you see in front, Gothic behind him. This great tag team joined XWW back in early 2008 in a show, actually, in Silva, North Carolina. Retribution 2008, as they made their debut, actually wrestled against each other, which is quite funny, and ended up coming in here now in XWW, teaming together, and uh, joined the ropes as they're taking on this Legal Lottery tournament, hoping to be crowned the first ever Legal Lottery champion. Hey, you know, you get your job for a time of recession, you know, you're going to do it right. Chaos Connection might definitely be uh, reeling from the matches they've had uh, in the past right here, at least in lottery right here, because the first match they were in was pretty much a brawl, and the second match they in took a little bit to the limit as we chased it and Chronic, but nevertheless, here they are in the finals. And that's right, you just heard Corky, the ring announcer, announcing the first of one of their opponents, and he is the number one contender, folks, for the XWW World Heavyweight title. And folks, you're expecting him here shortly. Uh, Corky announcing once again, folks, that Luke Monsinger is going to team up with Jason Quick. Now we have a new referee as Danny Beasley. And referee Philip Wilson here tonight, folks. Glad to have him. Luke Monsinger here coming out to the ring, and he is pumped as ever. Main event action. Jason Quick moving up against him. We can see it. You know, it all come together. It all go tumbling down. As both these men are fighting over that world title. We'll see that next month. But tonight, they must team up together in this main event to crown the first ever Rider Champion. They've come this far. They've been Well, only time will tell Joe as uh, Luke Monsinger's in the ring warming up, getting ready here. And his tag team partner coming out now. There he is, folks. You heard it. Our XWW World Heavyweight Champion, Jason the One Quick. Tag team matchup, our main event evening for this evening. Chaos Connection versus Jason Quick and Luke Monsinger for the Legal Lottery Championships. Looks like RM1's gonna start it. Up against Luke the Stinger Monsinger. Nothing with that handshake. He said he came here to do work. And that's exactly what he's doing to do is he tries to get the fans hyped up about it. Both men circling each other, they size each other up, and they're calling no more tie up. Rich finger monster, Rich finger monster, Rich finger monster. What a great way to start off the main event here tonight, folks. Lead the lottery 2009, Charles, North Carolina, Alpha Road Rex, and we're glad to have you here. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for staying with us with this main event. Really rich in the arm of the arm. Gloves to the elbow. I think Luke's hype. He's got the adrenaline rolling. I think he realizes what's on the line and realizes what he needs to do here tonight. Just go ahead and get this matchup over with. Chaos okay, Connection are a, a team that have worked together in the past. They do have a number of double team maneuvers, and I think Luke realizes that he needs to kind of ground his opponent here and kind of get it over with quick. Good ring awareness right now. Dragging on arm going away from Gothic as he tags in Jason Quick. Drops an elbow down on the knee. Of working on the knee, great double team maneuver, working together, both these men now here realizing I think what's on the line, realizing what's at stake, and to put their differences behind them and just finish up this matchup. Or for a knee buster, oh my goodness, dropping down on the knee, Jason Quick, really still working.